Let's look at one of the more common actions you'll perform, adding a new item. To create a new item in 6-bit, you're going to click the Add icon. Uh, that's the equivalent of the new icon in TurboLister. And if you chose to use the TurboLister icons in 6-bit, you'll see that they even use the same icon. So I'm going to go ahead and click Add to open up a new empty window. Now the first time you add an item, it's going to ask you if you want to watch the video on customizing the item window. I highly recommend you watch that video. Our item window is really customizable. It lets every user customize the window to hide or show the fields that they want to use. And so I think it's very beneficial for people to watch that video. I'll give you a quick overview of some of that customization now. The first thing to notice is the line that divides the top and the bottom can be moved. Now everything above the line is things that are common to the item regardless of what site it might be listed on. So the pictures, its skew, its weight, things like that, things that won't change from site to site are going to be above the line. Anything that's specific to a specific site will be below the line and there will be a tab for each site you list on. You'll notice that in each half there are these groups of tabbed sections and you can actually change the size affiliated with each of those sections. In addition, you can dock and undock the tabs. So I could grab options, drag it, dock it to the right. Or if I don't want to see it, I want to hide it behind something, I can dock it back behind. So using a combination of being able to resize the tab groups and hiding and showing which tabs are in the forefront, you can customize this window to highlight the fields that you enter most often and hide the fields that you only enter occasionally. The easiest way to add an item is if it's in the catalog, just search the catalog for it. So you'd enter your description and then click the search icon and it would bring up any matching items in the catalog. So just choose the one that matches and click OK. And that item's been brought into 6-bit. If your item wasn't a catalog item, you could simply add all the fields and the information for that item. Now we have a video on all of the fields and how to enter an item, and I'll refer to that video at the end of this video for more information. There are a few things I do want to point out here though. You might notice that we have both a product title and an eBay title. So what is different about those two? Well, the product title is what's going to show up on the grid out on the main sell items window. And since we're a multi-channel tool, the product title might not necessarily always be the title that you want showing on the site. So you can come up with one common product title that will show to describe the item in general, and then each separate site could get its own title. Now, if you want to use the same title, you would simply put this tagged double bracketed word product title and 6-bit will replace whatever the product title is with the eBay title when it comes time to list the item. If I wanted it to be something different than the product title, I could just type it in here. I'm going to open another item to show you some of our picture editing capabilities. So you'll notice the pictures up here, the carousel allows you to scroll through each picture on the item or from the pictures tab you can see them in sort of a all-in-one view. The menu above gives you functionality to work with pictures. You can add pictures, add pictures from a URL. If you have a camera attached to your computer you can take pictures directly from your webcam. You can read pictures in from a scanner. You can edit pictures, rotate pictures, and even delete pictures right from this menu, or you can change the view. Let's take a quick look at the picture editor. 6-bit comes with its own built-in picture editor that allows you to rotate or round corners, you can flip it vertically and horizontally, you can crop the picture, or you can even draw text uh, callouts onto your picture. It also has all the standard hue shift and saturation features as well as sharpen, blur, and um, draw. Another thing I'd like to point out is the difference between a description and a description wrapper. 
Now, when you write your descriptions, uh, a lot of times there's a lot of text that's common to every description. You might be describing your business or something about the way you process orders. 6-bit treats that separately. We call those description wrappers. Anything that's going to be in multiple descriptions, we'll put into a wrapper so it can be reused later. The description on an item should just be the information that's specific to that item. By creating description wrappers that have all of your common information for multiple items, you can save time by not having to enter that information into every item. A more detailed description of description and description wrappers is in the Creating Items video that I'll reference later. Let's look at some other ways to add items. In addition to just adding a new item, you can select any existing item and duplicate it. Or if there's a particular type of item that you create often, you can make a template out of it. Once you've saved it as a template, you can always get to it from the Add Subcontext menu. To see and manage all templates, click Manage Item Templates under the Add button. When you're ready to submit items, you select all the items you want to submit and then click the Submit button. Now one thing that's different in 6-bit from TurboLister is that in 6-bit you choose the listing format at the time of submission. The 6-bit item has all of the information it needs to know for listing auctions or fixed price and you just choose that when you're listing the item. This allows you to easily switch back and forth between listing it as fixed price or auction. After choosing your submission options, just click the Submit button. Once submitted, they'll automatically be moved into the previously listed status. But remember, they're always still in the repository also. And because they're listed, they'll now be in the running status in the check listings mode. So we've covered the organization of 6-bit and we've talked about some of the main Turbo Lister features and how they're performed in 6-bit. Let's now talk about some of those minor features. It's always a good idea to have backups of your data. In 6-bit, backups are taken care of automatically. From File Options, you can click the Backups tab to see the automatic settings for the automatic backups. You can determine how many backups to keep and at what time the backups occur. You can also just manually do a backup anytime you'd like from File, Database, Backup. The Compact Database function is no longer needed since it's automatically performed with every backup. TurboLister uses the term synchronize to get information from eBay. In 6-bit we just call that refreshes and refreshes happen automatically in the background. So 6-bit every so often is going out and getting information about sales and new sales. Daily it will go out and get your eBay category information and theme information and things like that. You can always force an instant refresh from file, refresh, and then choose the type of refresh you want. The View Online feature in TurboLister can be accomplished in 6-bit by going to Check Listings and then simply clicking the e-commerce ID of the listing. You can also do it by selecting the listing and then clicking Go to Show e-commerce listing. The 6-bit equivalent of TurboLister's activity log is our event log under File, Event log. In TurboLister, each new user required a new database file. In 6-bit, more than one user can be stored in the same database. Users can be managed from File, Manage, Profile, where you can choose to edit an existing profile, or you can manage all the profiles and create a new profile. The last thing I want to discuss is the versions of 6-bit. 6-bit comes in multiple versions, each with different price points and functionality. 
Changing versions does not require a new installation. You simply tell 6-bit you want to upgrade or downgrade, and the next time you start the program, you'll have the functionality for that version. During your free trial period, you can upgrade or downgrade to any version freely. At the end of the trial period, whichever version you're subscribed to will be the version that you get billed at. This gives you the opportunity to try all the high-end features of 6-bit and decide which version you need before you actually start getting billed. Here's how to change your version. Go to the Support tab, and from the Client area, you'll log on, choose Services, and then select your subscription. Then choose the Upgrade button to upgrade or downgrade to any version. You simply choose the product on the right that you want to try. Or you can always submit a support ticket and request us to make the change for you. Earlier I promised you information about follow-up videos. To get to our video library, choose Video Library from the Support tab. And then I recommend you watch the first few videos in the series. The first look lesson, creating items, and working with grids will get you off to a good start. I hope that this video will help in your transition from TurboLister to 6-bit. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to submit a support ticket. We know change can be difficult, and we want to do everything we can to make this as easy on you as possible.